to thank especially the organization for having me, invite me to take a part in this Congress. Secondly, I honestly ask for you to understand about the possible mistakes on the language uh, or the my accent. It's very well. Uh, in our university, we developed two programs. One for women's health, another for uh, biochemical data for high-level athletes. Of course, not a uh, Brazilian soccer. And we have uh, 12 students of the graduate program in um, biomedical engineer, and nearly 24 students uh, undergraduate in physical education. He, they, this is the, our group. <coughs> we use uh, DXA, the last generation, um, in our lab. In Brazil, we have uh, three or four, no more. We use uh, biochemical data, um, equipment for thermograph, uh, nutritional control done by expert. Then uh, this uh, how work for evaluation and control the hours program. And the test showed the the pattern of the woman of our group, the 52 age, years old. Then the question is why the, the important uh, of a postural assessment? Why? We think the physical activity may compromise the arthrosis and arthritis because the DXAXI has a scoliosis and this point to decrease in bone mineral density. We think maybe, if you think only health bone, maybe we'll be trouble with arthrosis and arthritis. This is very common. We understand this this situation: uh, arthritis and arthritis, but scoliosis. Oh, sorry, just a minute. We observed the word the L1 and L2, but L3 and L4 osteoarthritis. Uh, we this exam with biased arthrosis. Another assessment by family, the least alteration uh, the sofa. Um, another way to use uh, for a while. We use uh, DX XRA for another situation for study the body composition composition and the distribution of fat because the when the advanced the age the distribution of fat change and we found a false slim but in the truth we found a little muscle mass we f we think in first Vision, we think it's a slim, but it's not this. It's a false slim. Then, uh, as a result about our job, we make this paper, and then we talk about this. 74 Brazilian women with uh, 15 years and, and our, our older with osteoporosis. In joint changes, the 65 women show the osteoarthritis, some part of the board, bunny, and the 19 show the change in posture. <coughs> it concludes that posture assessment is essential to prescribe the correct is exer exercise program. For nutritional evaluation, 
we use uh, expert because we fix three points if you think about uh, health burn. First, intake and caloric expenditure, protein, mineral, and uh, balance, or harmony in the accord with program. But in nutritional assessment, I have uh, reviewed that no is an adequate intake. In Brazil, it's very common a lot of protein and low intake of minerals, especially magnesium. Another way we use to control the, our program, use thermographic. We think that high intensity training, the behavior, uh, electric behavior is not appropriate for health burning. <coughs> and we check the if workload workload it is this correct for the health burn. Then how work <coughs> in uh, in this situation? First of all, clinical and physical examination define how put the the, the people. Post manuals, close connect chain, open connect chain, elderly, open connect chain connect chain aquatic activities. I know this concept is the same, but we use this because we think it's more polite to separate for the, the people. Then elderly people, well, the woman has a lot of trouble, is very compromised to work. Then we use this, this system for Aquatic activities pra for elderly people. We use a systematic uh, periodization for training, and um, that, um, after four or six weeks, we change the the, the workloads for these people. But this this group is very hard to to work because osteoarthritis osteoarthrosis, rheumatic disease, this is very difficult to, to work, but the, the students of physical education help, uh, help us very, a lot, help a lot. <coughs> Close connect the chain for people, just use a uh, gym of our university Open connect to change. Example. Oh, so yeah. This is our lab. <coughs> Thanks a lot for our attention.